Hey guys, welcome to week two of online learning. Um, hopefully everyone's getting in the routine. And so if you did your lesson yesterday, um, you walked through the notes and you learned about Newton's three laws of motion. So part of Newton's second law of motion, which um, is basically just talking about the relationship between the force um, applied to an object, the mass of the object, and its acceleration is doing calculations. So the equation that we're going to use um, is printed up here on the board. It says S equals MA, where F is the force of the objects in, we have a special unit that we've never used before, um, the units for force is going to be Newton. Okay, so they named it after um, Newton, um, and one Newton is equal to one kilogram per meter per second squared. Okay, so the units that you use are going to be really important, and turn that a little bit. Uh, so just know that when we measure force, we're going to be using the units of Newton. All right, the M is for mass, and we're going to always have the mass in kilograms and acceleration in meters per second squared. All right, so let's look at the triangle. Remember, if you prefer the triangle method, with this equation, to put it in the triangle, I'm going to look at the right side of the equal sign. And in this case, the M, A are side by side together. So that means in the triangle, they must also be side by side, which means they have to go in the bottom two spots in the triangle. And that means the only spot left for the F for force is in the top. Okay, so this is what the triangle looks like for this equation. All right, so let's do, I'm going to walk through an example with you guys. Um, this one says, with what force will a car hit a tree if the car has a mass of, so M for mass, 3,000 kilograms, and it is accelerating, A for acceleration, at a rate of 2 meters per second squared. And again, it's asking for force. What force? So that's our unknown. All right, guys, so just like with all the other problems, either plug into the equation and solve, or I'm going to use the triangle method. And so we have the mass, so instead of the M, I'm going to substitute in 3,000 kilograms. Instead of the A, I'm going to substitute in 2 meters per second squared. And again, force is what we're trying to solve for. So remember, in the triangle, if two numbers are side by side together, that means you will multiply. So to find the force um, of this car, I'm going to take 3,000 times 2. So I will end up with 6,000 newtons, because newton is always going to be your unit of force as the answer to this problem. Okay, so pretty simple. All right, let's try another one where you're solving for a different variable. One more example. All right, this one says, what is the acceleration of a softball? So this time we're solving for A, for acceleration, if it has a mass of 0.5 kilograms and it hits the catcher's glove with a force, so F for force, of 25 newtons. Okay, so remember, even though we're solving for a different variable, if we go back to the triangle, we're going to plug into the appropriate spots. So now we're solving for A, so let's leave the A here. We have a mass of 0.5 kilograms. And the force, which goes on top, is 25 newtons. Okay, so to solve for acceleration, notice now the numbers are stacked one on top of the other. So remember, it's always going to be top divided by bottom. So for acceleration, that's going to be 25 newtons divided by 0 0.5 kilograms. And for acceleration, you're going to get 50. Okay, so 25 divided by 0 0.5, 50 meters per second squared. And that's your answer. Okay, um, so one other thing that you might encounter in some of the problems, um, we have, it was in your PowerPoint if you um, walked through that yesterday, but if you ever get an object in free fall, the acceleration of an object in free fall is simply due to gravity, and the acceleration due to gravity is going to be 9.8 meters per second squared, or we can round that to make the math easier. 
um, to 10 meters per second squared. So if you happen to get a problem and it talks about an object in free fall, um, then for acceleration, you're always going to substitute in to, uh, sorry, 10 meters per second squared. Okay, guys, hope that helps. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, work on your problems and submit those in Schoology.